Well hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here on my channel. It is fantastic to have you back and you may notice in the title of this episode that it is not a continuation of my episode 1 of my standard easy mode uh, series I started last week. It is however the hard mode of being a, I'm pretty sure as a farm manager, we'll be starting off with nothing and we're seeing how we do. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you are enjoying the video. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, I think let's just crack in straight away. So this is going to be, this is going to be tough, you know. This is my other one. We're not going to do that today, but to not farm manager, we're starting from scratch. Where the, it's a real challenge, the economy is tough, prices are low and you've already taken out a hefty credit with the bank. And the gameplay elements are on the most realistic setting. That's fantastic. It's exactly what we want. So this is exactly what we're going to do. Now, I've been thinking about maps and what we could do, and I have decided to go for Erlengrat. Because I feel like it's it's, uh, it's one that hasn't been used as much from what videos I've seen so far. And myself, I'm off to Switzerland in February, and I'm quite keen to do something that's fairly similar, you know? It's, it's in that sort of mountainous range. Um, so without further ado, let's crack on. This is going to be really hard, very exciting though, uh, and I've barely looked at this game mode, so this could be quite interesting. Um, mm, quick sip of coffee. Mm. That's exactly what I need to get myself ready for this. But no, this is going to be really tough. We're going to do it together, we're going to learn together, and let's go for this. So, let's quickly get myself a character. And there we go. There is our character, sorted and ready to go. Names all set, all done. Let's crack on then. Right, bang, straight in. Okay, so it is August. It is 13 minutes past eight in the morning and we have half a million euros in our pocket. Okay, so <laughs> welcome to Erlengrat. For anyone who hasn't seen this map already, it's beautiful, uh, lovely mountainous views and all that. But so I'm thinking pretty quickly, you know, we want to start looking to get ourselves some land and um, a little area going. So I think first things first, we should probably have a look at what we've got here. So here is the map for Erlingrad and we want to start small really. So, you know, small bits of land we have down here and it's near the shop and things, so that could be quite a handy place to be. Uh, that does look like it's sunflowers, so you may not want to buy a field from which it's quite hard to harvest straight away. Um, because my idea was to go livestock quite early on and in which case we could focus on buying up some of these smaller bits of fields um, you know very small bits to see if that's something that's doable start with animals as myself as a sheep farmer this could be quite a fun way to start off this series so if we go back to the shop and there we go I think this one here construction farmland this one here now what so we have half a million and now we don't want to go and blow the budget straight away so that one there is huge amount of land my god okay grasslands are very expensive oh it's all so expensive oh my lord wow that's quite a lot of land for not that much money there okay if you're considering other bits of land here 125. See, that's 300. It's because it's got the infrastructure, obviously, of, of some sheds and things. Uh, and I do believe that could be where we are based right this second, isn't it? Is that correct? Yes. So we could buy this area quite fast. Now, it looks like there's buildings on the ground here, but they just aren't. <laughs> Unless it's area for us to put buildings down if we do buy this area. And that's probably what they're meaning here. But it's quite a tough decision, so we could go and buy that, but that would only give us 170 grand left. That's 268. That's it. But with this bit of... I see that this could be good, because it's 125, and we do get some spaces down in the corner here. And it's a lot cheaper, so I wonder if that is something we look for. That comes with a field, but I'm not interested in getting fields right now, I don't think. 
unless that's a silly choice, it'll be good to get some land too. In which case, this field number two here could be quite good. Um, as it has a field and it has some grassland for us to muck around in. But the same as number one here. Now, this is interesting because number one here comes with some grassland over here, some spaces up here, and an entire field, which looks like it could be grass already. Yeah. So that's a possibility. Number seven comes with some grass around the outside and is a bit cheaper. Which maybe we think about going up to field number one and seeing if we can get a hold. So who owns this bit of land here then? I can't seem to click on that. It seems like it should be part of... I just have to go and actually buy that separately, which could be the thing. So I reckon, guys, we go up to here because we get this bit of grassland here and we get a field. We can always keep part of the field grass and even put a fence across it or something. Um, why don't we do that? So in which case, do I just press buy? You know, is that is that what we're thinking? How much is this field 22? It's very cheap, but it's only one field. That's very expensive. So these are all very expensive down here. So that's, that's probably not going to work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm tending towards field one, guys. So let's go. And do it. It's ours. It is ours. Now, instead of walking over there, I'd like to get a vehicle. Now, there's no point really me buying a vehicle we're not going to use much, so it's probably best that I go and buy myself a tractor off the bat. Now, it needs to be small. What's the smallest tractor they do? Something, but maybe something that might have a front linkage to it would be very helpful. Uh, now, no, no, no. I'd rather not lease my first tractor. I'd rather actually get hold of my first tractor. Um, that's quite expensive. That's standard wide tires, narrow tires. Wow, you can do so many things with this. But it hasn't got a front mm -hmm. weight style thing on here, has it? No. Uh, neither does this, I don't think. Nope. Hmm. That's getting very big now, so we don't own any of these ones. Nice, we do go for something very small and dinky to begin with, but that's that's not much. It's only 68 horsepower. We need something a bit better than that. Um, right. Surely this little messy Ferguson's going to have a front loader attachment, no? Maybe not. Right, let me find one, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I found at the top here, it's just right in front of me, and it's telling me everything I need to do here. So... This tractor can also attach a front loader. So, this Proxima is looking pretty good. But also, this Massey Ferguson is looking pretty good. And I'm a big fan of Massey Ferguson. Um, so this thing's less powerful. But this is lighter. Now, I don't want to do too much compression now. This one, I think, can have a front weight. It's also got a front hitch as well which could be very helpful now I think about it so let's go for this Zitor Proxima HS I think is the right one to do now how can we, can we make this any cheaper than it already is I'm not too fast about doing this sort of thing front loader attacher yes we do want uh, Hmm, yes, I think we'll go for the quick quick hitch. Oh god, we don't need to change that. No, that's fine. We don't need any, we don't need too much. So it's gonna be seventy six horsepower. Or we could go more. I'm probably thinking that Yeah, we're an eighty eight horsepower tractor could be quite a handy thing. And I love how you can do this. Okay, so there is our tractor. It's looking pretty good, it's gonna cost us fifty seven grand. And I think that's probably perfect. So, without further ado, let's buy our little purchase. Cool. Now, that is what we're going to start with. We're not going to buy anything else quite yet until we fully figure out. I want to go and check out our land first. Now, let's just take a quick cut. Boop. We're going to shoot to our tractor. Here we go. So here is our little Zetor Proxima HS90. Now, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with the, the narrow wheels. You know, we're not going to be doing too much crazy stuff. Nice number plate up there. And 
it's looking pretty good. We have our front loader, we have our front hitch, and it's all looking pretty perfect, personally. So, let's get in here. Let's turn it on, and let's us let's all head up to our field. So I'll see you when we're at my field. Okay, so here we are at our land. Let's turn the engine off, save the fuel. This is ours. All of this is ours. Wow. Not a bad view. Not a bad view to have at all. So, next thing is, what do we want to start with? Now, I said I wanted to start doing some sheep stuff, which is great that we have grass, because, you know, sheep are going to need grass. That, that's just, you know, pretty standard. Now, I wanted to check out what this building is now. Because our land, is, this should still be all ours up here. You know, we should be still to put some things on here, and I believe you can put buildings down in this game, which we may have to do if you want to have sheep and buy a sheep paddock. Now, I'm interested by this building. Why is it on its own? There seems to be no reason for that. So it's not something we can buy. That's a shame. Beautiful chalet. Anyway, that does not matter right now. So let's focus back on our land. Now, as I said, we have this land where I am currently stood here, but I obviously don't want to put anything on the grass field if possible, because I'm sure half of it will become other things. So the plan I think now is to see what buildings can we, oh, that's what it's owned. Nope, not that one. This one, construction, an animal dealer. So you don't have any barns or pastures. So that's what I thought. So here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is very interesting. So personally, I'm not needing a uh, a house. <laughs> if I can do away with spending all that money, that is great. And so therefore, I want to go straight into looking for a paddock for sheep. So this is a sheep pasture, which holds. 15 sheep and requires those things. This is a sheep barn and requires, and it gets 25 sheep. And this is a sheep barn large. So I would have thought I would like to have a sheep barn with some space in it. So if I was to do that, now I believe I can place it. I don't know how far over, because I don't want to put it too much on the grass field. So, oh, hello, we're in a building. So I wonder if I can keep that. If I keep that here, I know I'll take it over the edge of the field, but that might not be the end of the world. However, I need to make sure I can access the back of that building. So maybe that I turn this in a direction. This big curve is less important to me, and I'd like to have. Hmm. It's very, very difficult, actually. So I think I'm going to place a few things, see what happens, and make a few decisions, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. This is our start. This is it right here. We have now an area for our sheep to be, and we can keep some animals in here, and it's going to be fantastic. It's right at the end of the track. It's not encroaching on the track. But I think it's a good position, it's on our land. Now it has cut into our field a touch, but I don't think that's a problem. Because I'm tempted to put a small track up the side of here and put a small barn from um, my tractors and things just in here. And so just like that, we have a shed. So there we go, perfect. So that's just next to here. We have space, we can put a little track down here if we want to. But now we have a space to keep our machinery in here with a lovely view. Now we don't own this land obviously, but that'll be lovely one day to actually end up owning that. Now, our money has gone down drastically. We've spent 346,000 pounds on buying the land, buying a sheep area, and buying a shed for our machines. So, the next thing really is to think about getting some animals. Now, to, in order to get some animals, we need to again buy some animals. But now we can do this, this is going to be interesting because we're going to have some transport. F we need a livestock trailer if we, oh my god, there's fees to do this, this is crazy. Okay, okay, okay. So 
So I'm checking out some things. I'd probably start with some fairly basic animals and I'd want to have probably, I don't know, between 10 and 15 sheep to begin with, I would have thought. Um, so you can buy some eighth month ones. These ones can reproduce straight off the bat, which would be great. But I think I probably want to just buy some lambs to begin with. Um, so I'm probably going to buy... Huh. Is that not going to allow me then? Can I not choose to buy some? There we go, I had to double click on it, that's why. So that would cost me a thousand with a fee of 150 and a transport fee will be applied if I don't transport with my own livestock trailer. So how much, therefore, is a livestock trailer? And quickly, have we got anything that could help us here at all? Because if you haven't seen this before, this is the used vehicle sale. Now this could be quite helpful in the future. That's a great bucket, but that is quite a large bucket. We don't need anything that big at all. So uh, tools as trailers. I don't think it's been trailers. I, hopefully it's in its own section. Animal transport. Bloody hell. Okay, okay, that's a little bit, a little bit too much for me. Animals, maybe. No, that, that's just you know, can't put an animal in there. That's for sure. Miscellaneous. No. Okay, so we don't have a way to transport the sheep over. So we're going to have to pay that fee in order to get the sheep here. That is okay. So we want to go back now to an animal dealer. I want to get. F uh, hmm. Ten of these. We're just going to do it. Here we go. Animal's been purchased, and I want 10 of these lambs as well. And there we go. I think that is done. And here they all are. Fantastic. Now, obviously, they're going to need some feed straight away, so this is going to be the interesting part. So... Health, 0%. Food, 0 litres. Now, obviously, we need to know that sheep will need their grass. So, straight away, we need a way to mow some of this with our little tractor, which is over there. So, we're going to need a mower and a way to pick up this grass. So, I'm going to quickly find some uh, some pieces of machinery that we're going to need. I'm going to purchase them and we'll go and grab them together. Okay, so we are on the way to the shop to pick up our new pieces of machinery. Just going to remind myself where we're going. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I actually get to the store. I think I... Aha! You might have just seen it there. Some new pieces of equipment. So, in we go. And here we go. So, let's just pull up here. Have a quick look. Leave the engine running for two secs. And here we go. So, we have a nice, cheap Kuhn Moor. A little front mower, perfect for our little guy here, as it fits the horsepower. I'm quite glad I went up to 88 horsepower for this gun, because this is both require 60 horsepower to do it, so that's fine. This has a 3.1 width working meter, um, 3.1 meter working width, and this little bottinger here will be perfect for that. Even if we keep the sides up, it should be okay, uh, which is perfect. So we're going to do this. We're going to take him back over to the farm, and then we're going to start cutting some grass up and making sure. Those sheep have some food. Because that is, after all, the most important thing when it comes to sheep. So, in we hop. Let's just back up and pick up these items. There we go. Nice wide turn. Line ourselves up as best as we can. Sweet around a little bit. There we go. Almost there. There we go, line ourselves up nicely, boom. There we go, there is our front mower on. Now we're just gonna gently go up, <laughs> almost scrape our brand new uh, forage wagon. And then we're just gonna, that's good enough, there we go. Right, so there we go, our new equipment is on. Back to the farm we go. So as we're driving along here, we can nicely see our barns out the side of the window there, looking great. 
very excited to get going here and start building up loads of machinery. Ooh, was that a track we can go up to get to ours? Potentially. Okay, so we know that shortcut for next time. So I'd rather not have to keep driving through this same old building here each time I want to get to my house. And when I say house, I mean sheep barn <laughs> and shed. You know, it's not the most ideal situation, but uh, it's the one we have for now. As, as you say, we're starting off with nothing, we're building up slowly, we're focusing on sheep, we're going to sell some wool, very low profit for wool, but we're also on the side going to try and produce some barley and some, maybe some wheat and whatever else we can in whatever the other, you know, bit of land we want to, you know, wh whatever we want to use in the other side of our field here, because it's not all going to be used for, um, for grass here. So, there we go, along we go. And what I'm going to probably do is probably actually keep the forage wagon on the back and try and use both of these at the same time and just go up and down the field and collect up a bunch of grass. So I think that's probably quite a nice thing to do. But here we go. The kit is back. It's looking good. It almost looks a little bit too big for uh, um <laughs> Uh, for for our for our tractor here, but uh, I think it's going to be okay. So how are our sheep doing? Obviously their health is probably not going to be great because they've got no food yet. But we'll sort out their food, and then they'll all be good as our train goes by. Lovely jubbly. So let's see how this works. So if we get this one firstly turned on, now to unfold, I imagine it's X. There we go. Now we want to change to the back implement. We want to unfold that. I don't think there's been an unfold. That's what I need to note. And that goes down. This one needs to be turned. Oh, do I not unfold? Oh, I must have un accidentally refolded it at the same time. That was silly. And there we go. Let's bring our uh, speed right down to 10 just for now. And we're literally going to go in a straight line just to see how it feels, you know. Brilliant. It's exactly what we wanted. Just going to see how this feels. Seems to be picking up the grass very nicely there. Are we missing any with this working width? No, we're not at all. That's fantastic. Now, I know this probably isn't the most conventional way to pick up grass, but we are very, very tight for money, and we need to give our sheep some food as soon as we can. So I'm going to pick up the mower as we get to the end here. I'm just going to spin this around. We'll probably do a few lines quickly together. I don't mean that inappropriately. Now, here we go. I'll try and keep a fairly similar line. This is brilliant. We're farming. It's exactly what we wanted. You know, these sheep are going to be waiting for some food. Just what we wanted. Okay, nice and slowly, because I don't want to overwork this tractor too much, because it's going to be tough, quite tough work doing what he's doing. I'm going to probably stop about there. I might actually, no, I'll probably keep the mower up as I just spin this round. It's a little bit tight here. Uh, we'll come and tidy it up in a minute. In fact, we'll probably just reverse this back. I know we're kind of trashing the uh, the grass a little bit, and our ooh, easy on the old reversing. There we go. I know we're kind of trashing our grass a little bit here, but here we go. Up and down one more time, and then we'll feed our sheep, and then we'll see what we do from there. If we just keep going, fill up the trailer good to have a little silo of some sort so we can put all this grass into and so the sheep have a good supply of grass because that's what they're going to want. They're also going to want some straw obviously to, for some bedding and probably going to want some hay at some point too. Let's lift that up and we go. A bit tight there, probably almost a full lock a little bit there but we'll go for it. Get ourselves lined up. 
Whoop, we're facing backwards here. And there we go. This is farming. Perfect. It's exactly what you want. So we'll get to the end here. We should hopefully have about 40% full. And uh, we shall then probably just go and give the sheep some grass. As they're going to be you know, bloody hungry. I mean, they've got their little pasture, but that's not enough for them. Absolutely not enough for them. So slow it down there. Lift that one up and turn that off. Go to the back. Turn that one off. And I hope that lifted it up too, did it? Nope, that's us lifting it up there. We'll go round now. Round the back of our shed. Oh, I hope the other the neighbour isn't watching. <laughs> and I'm hoping that I should be able to. Now, can I do this? Or do I have to be elsewhere? Now we're actually going to drop the mower just for now because it's getting a little bit tough. Lower that down and drop that there. There we go. My only worry right now is that the entrance to get this grass in is actually around the corner here. So if I can try and see if I can reverse this around the corner a little bit. That's not badly done. Yeah, my worry is that I've got to put the grass into there. And if that is the case, this is going to be rather difficult. Neighbour, don't look, please. Hmm. Can we get away with this? Hmm. No, maybe we can't. Right, let me figure this out quickly, guys, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, well, don't tell the neighbour, but we've done it. We have filled it up. <laughs> I'm sure we can do a better way than driving over our neighbour's land, but we'll sort that out soon. But right, for now, we're just going to park up here. And there we go. They have four and a half thousand litres of grass. That will keep them going for a little bit. And I wonder how we fill up their water. Their water is currently full, which is good. The health hopefully is okay. Is there a way I could look at that? Or is that just my... my uh, that's my field info. Okay. There's no weeds in it. That's the, that's the important thing. But the sheep look okay, you know? We can jump over and have a look at them. Health, 0%. Reproduction, 0%. I mean, they're very young still, so, you know... Can't be looking for too much right now, but they have water, they have food, and all is looking well. So well, in fact, that I think we're going to call that an episode. So, thank you all very much for watching this first episode of The Hard Mode, starting from scratch here on my channel. It's been fantastic fun. I've really enjoyed it. We have bought our beautiful Zetor tractor. Uh, I think it's great. We've got this lovely Pottinger uh, little forage uh, wagon. Um, and we have a brilliant little mower. Now, I bought the shed and I haven't put any of my things back in it. So I promise before the next episode, everything will be neatly put away and uh, it'll be looking good. But we've put two buildings down. We have our shed, we have our sheep barn, and we have some sheep and they're looking good. They're looking good. Now, hopefully their health will go up. I'll do a bit of research between uh, this episode and the next and I reckon we'll be looking really good. So thank you all very much for watching. Take care. Please hit the subscribe button if you feel like it, and that like button, or even a dislike button if it's not quite what you are wanting. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and have a wonderful rest of your days. Goodbye.